is something new and old. This is something we developed for the um, carriers, for self-defense of the carriers uh, several years ago. We, the reason we brought it out here for Surface Navy Association Symposium is that it has applicability in other platforms as well. As, as you may know, the littoral combat ship is asking for a deck-mounted, over-the-horizon launcher. Okay? This is the answer to that question. What we've done is we've taken the Mark 41 VLS canister and we have wrapped it into what we call a cocoon situation, which gives it supportability, transportability, protection, and interface to the canisters. Instead of bringing a missile onto the ship and a launcher, the ship can have one launcher, which is compatible with the, Mark, the current Mark 41, which is in our entire fleet, over 7,000 cells. So you take, let me show you this. This is representative of a current canister that's used in all, all throughout the fleet and allied fleets as well. You can take this exact canister and it can be part of this adaptive launching system. Now you have multiple different types of missiles that you can fire out of, off of your ships. LCS, FFGX, and large decks. What we're showing here is a concept that is uh, new to the naval uh, warfighter. It's using high-powered microwave or radio frequency to defeat enemy targets. We've actually had some testing to uh, show that it is actually effective against targets in a non-maritime environment, but we can certainly bring this to the maritime warfighter as well. We show here it's mounted on a Mark 38 uh, gun weapon system base. Now the Mark 38 is, is the gun weapon system that's throughout the U.S. fleet. Over 400 installations going to a total of 500. So if it would uh, be a value to the U.S. Navy, we could convert those into the high power microwave or start with the same base configuration and add this capability to our surface fleet. The concept is you take a um, microwave generator, which is below deck, and through that generation and through switching, very high speed switching, you actually take a pulse and you, you um, emanate a pulse from this radar face to the areas of interest and you can very rapidly uh, disrupt electronics in whatever you, it's in the field. It's at different ranges depending on the sensitivity of the targets and it can go up both surface targets and air targets. It's the latest generation of the well-known Bofors 40mm L70 gun. Compared with the previous generation, we have lowered the weight dramatically from 3.5 tons to 2 tons approximately. We are taking away all hydraulics of the, guns, so, of the gun, so we uh, just have electrical motors for everything, which gives much uh, better um, um, possibilities, you don't have to maintain that much. It's designed really for two types of platforms. It's designed as it's so light for lighter ships, smaller ships, patrol vessels from maybe a tonnage of uh, well, 70, 80 tons up and upwards, but also as a secondary gun on larger ships like frigates or OPVs. Uh, uh, well. uh, the first customer was actually uh, Brazil that bought the gun back in 2015, that are going to put it on patrol ships, 200 tons and 500 ton ships. And we hope soon to sell it to more ship platforms in Brazil. And we have another customer as well, more to the east, if you look on the compass, that um, are, uh, have bought the gun that we are delivering to. And for that particular customer, we have also developed a below deck loading system so it's very quick to reload in case you have a well, very threatening situation. It's very, uh, so there you don't have to uh, go out on the deck and reload the gun. So here in the United States we are looking for uh, future platforms for upcoming programs to see where the gun might fit.